Hi art lovers, this is Jenny at Julia Baby Jen and I have a little project to share with you today. So today I'm going to talk about my typography uh, mini album I made, mini junk journal. Um, this is for a swap, so I really hope they like it. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, this is I made using file folders, just regular old manila file folders, and I used four to make the project. You can see my fingers there on the camera. Uh, so just um, four manila folders, which is dirt cheap. My cat's over here making a big mess. Hi, Ashley. Um, and... <clears throat> Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I used four manila file folders, and <clears throat> I found a tutorial online for it, uh, is how I started making this. This is my second attempt, and um, this one came out better than the first, I thought. Hold on a second. Ashley! No! So, I found the uh, tutorial for this online, which I will link the video below, although... No offense to the person making it, because they say they've never made tutorials before. So, it's not the best tutorial I've ever watched. And it took me a while to figure out what she was talking about in some of the folding. So, I did make my own, which I'll leave a link below. But it's a picture tutorial, not a video tutorial. Because I don't really have a way... I don't have anything to hold my camera while I craft. So, I just took pictures as I went along and made a little tutorial on Pinterest. So, I'll link that below, too, if you want to learn how to make this. So this one, I used Graphic 45 Typography, uh, which is an amazing, amazing set. I'll show you my paper here. So here's Typography uh, by Graphic 45. This is the 12 by, 12 by 12 inch paper pad. So here's some of the paper. I've used a lot out of this already. I absolutely adore this paper. So beautiful. Graphic 45 is my favorite paper. Uh, number one, the quality just can't be beat on this stuff. It is thick, it's double-sided, and it smells amazing. <laughs> I know that's silly, but it does. It smells like a like a pit printing press, like fresh lumber. It smells so good, and the scent stays for a really long time. So anything you make with it's gonna have that really great scent. So, and they just have such beautiful paper. Well, anyway, that's the paper I used. I used some other stuff too, but that's the main stuff I used. So this one, I did make a closure for it because it got a little bit thick here, as you can kind of see. I love it when stuff pops out of the book, uh, little ribbons and things like that. I think it makes it look so, it's so just yummy looking. So I love that. And it got very thick, so it does have a little closure. And I did uh, attach it to the book. It's just a really pretty, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's like a ribbon, but yet it's like yarn. It's really, really pretty, and it's got these different hues. I got it in a swap. Someone sent it to me, and this is the entire piece that I had that I used for the book. So, But it went really well with it. I just glued it on front and back all the way around uh, with E6000 glue. And so it's on there. It's not coming off. Uh, so that's kind of nice, and then you just tie it shut when you're done with it. So here's the cover um, that I did. This is a piece from Graphic 45, this this whole piece here. This is one of the chipboard pieces. I did order their chipboard pieces, which I didn't grab to show, but I love their chipboard pieces. And then I just tied a little twine on the ends, and I glued that on with a 6,000 uh, glue there. So it kind of sticks out a little bit, and I kind of like that. And then when I got done binding it, I like to do something to the end so it looks more finished. Uh, so I used washi tape on this. This is a beautiful washi tape that someone sent me. This is the back cover. Again, this is a piece from, gra from the paper set. I love that. These are actually pieces from the paper as well that I cut out to embellish it a little bit. All right, now we're going to look at the actual book. So, there's a lot going on here. This is full of tags and all kinds of stuff. So here's the first page, and we have a little pocket here. Once you do the tutorial, uh, it self-makes the little pockets for you, which is great. Um, then I have a little, little tag piece in here. 
photo card, whatever. And I decorated both sides. So I kind of thought this one you might want to just leave, but this side you put a picture. A lot of these, that's what people do with these, is they put their like pictures, like scrapbooking. It's got a little bend. And I made a little tab to, to kind of go on it. And then that's what it looks like without the little piece in there. So there's that ta tag. Um, and then this piece, we've got a little little flap here. And there's a pocket up here. And there's two little tags in, up here. And there's a little card. There's more of a tag look. This is just uh, paper someone sent me that went really well with the collection, I thought. This is from, um, oh goodness, Bow Buddy, um, I believe. Actually, now I'm not so sure this is from Bow I think it is from Bow Buddy. It's journaling cards that come with some of their, uh, their uh, album pieces you can get. So I'm not putting the tags back in right now. I will later. There's that page beautiful paper. I didn't think it needed very much. I just put a little border down it. Oh, and I did ink all the edges. I just, I just like that finished look. This is not Graphic 45 paper. This is just really beautiful paper that has like a felt finish to it. It feels like it's felt up here. It's so soft. And uh, someone sent me this paper. I don't know what, what collection it's from or anything. But it's beautiful paper. And I just cut it up and put it in the, the book little piece of lace I put down the side. This page is like the first page where we got more more pockets and stuff. So the pocket over here has has a little couple tags in it. This is actually a little cardstock tag that comes with a typography if you buy the tag set, the chipboard tag set. And then here's a little card here. The ruler is actually I cut it up, but the ruler is a sticker from Tim Holtz. And then we got this little flap here. And then this page. And on the top here we have another another tag. Or two tags. I've got a little tag. This I think is Graphic 45 too, but it's from an older collection. It's thinner. But um, someone sent me these, so I don't know what collection it's from. But I can tell it's an older set. And that sticker is also from Tim Holtz. And we have this page. This is just paper f that I have from one of my paper pads that I cut up. And then I added, that's from the typography collection. That's a Graphic 45 one that goes, it's from the same set as this. I added a little um, raffia twine to it, paper, ribbon, whatever. For that and glued it down and I absolutely I didn't realize until after I finished this but the wordplay on this is really cute so we got kiss proof lipstick there and then I feel that there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people so a little love there and then some applause so the wordplay on that actually turned out really cute I didn't really plan that believe it or not it just kind of worked out all right here's this page this is paper that someone sent me. Another little tag. We've got a little sticker piece here. I don't think that's from typography. I can't remember where I got that. I think that's just some thing that someone sent me. I love that. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. This is why I share all my stuff. I hope I inspire people. And if you make this book, I really hope you make it your own in your own way. Little tab there. And this one I put a little pocket in the bottom. And I've just got a little, this is from Tim Holtz, I'm pretty sure, these letters. And then this is that one set that I don't know where it came from. Little Eiffel Tower tag. Love that. Just stuck those in there. And then I got some tags up here. I have so much fun playing with the ribbons and string. Anything you can use to put on top, I do. And it adds some dimension and variety to it. Like, this is just embroidery 
thread, I'm pretty sure, or floss that I have. I use anything I can use for that because it just it just really adds some dimension to it and texture. And then the last page. Another Tim Holtz sticker. That's paper someone sent me. Everything else, well, the ledger paper isn't, but everything else is from Graphic 45 or the Typography Collection. And then the back cover. And it, I kind of didn't think about this when I put the ribbon down, but it says draw outside the lines. Kind of covered up outside on that, but you can still kind of see it. So that is it's my tags and everything fall out. That is my little mini album I made with typography from uh, Graphic 45. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I inspired you. Have a great day. I will talk to you later.